I am Anil Kumar and I am sharing with you how to prove trigonometric identities. But more than that, we are reviewing what we learned so that we get prepared for calculus. So you may consider to this to be a part of pre-calculus. Question before us is sine pi plus x plus cosine pi by 2 minus x plus tan pi by 2 plus x equals 2 minus cotangent of x. Now to prove such an identity, we need to start with left side and prove that that is equal to right side. One way to do it is to apply the compound angle formulas. So let me write down the formulas for you. It is sine of a plus b. You could apply that which is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Correct? Where a is pi for you and b is x for you. You can also apply cos a minus b formula since this is minus I am writing cos a minus b formula which is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b and then you can apply tan a plus b formula to uh, expand the given expressions right so which is tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan so that will give you, when you expand simplify, will give you minus cotangent x and that is how you can prove left side equals to right side. However, I will show you the solution with the help of co-function identities, right? So we'll review co-function identities in our case. So we are doing co-function identities. So let's review those. First one is sine of pi plus x. So sine pi plus x means what? We are looking for an angle which is in quadrant pi plus x. That means it is in quadrant 3, right? Where the angle x is this angle. So that is the acute angle. Pi, this is pi for us. Pi plus x is this angle. Now we should write this in terms of the, the related acute angle. So the supposite angle is x. Now, we also know from our rule that in quadrant 1, all trigonometric ratios are positive. Sine is positive in 2, tan in 3, and cosine is 4. So, sine is negative here, right? Since sine is negative and this acute angle is x for us, you know, these are similar triangles, congruent triangles. I could write this as negative since we are in quadrant 3 of sine of x. So, that becomes the co-function, I should say, I should not say co-function identity, but related, related angle. So that is, we are writing in terms of related angle, related acute angle, I should say, right? Co-function is pi by 2. So first one, we did with the help of related acute angle. Now, let us look into cos of pi by 2 minus x. Now, in this case, I will use co-function identity. Co-function is when sine is written in terms of cosine or vice versa. Even tan will be written in terms of cotangent of x values of course uh, or any angle or vice versa. Now when we say cot, cos of pi by 2 minus x we are trying to say that the angle is this is pi by 2 right so we say pi by 2 minus x so that is the angle correct so that is the angle x we are talking about and so we are considering this particular triangle. Now in this particular triangle that is the angle x. So x opposite is that side. This is x. Now if I see then this angle will be so, so the whole angle we are talking about is pi by 2 minus x. So we are actually talking about this angle. Do you see that? Pi by 2 minus x will be the angle from here to here that is pi by 2 minus x is that okay now from here we know we are in quadrant 1 and so sine changes to cos cos changes to sine so the co-function identity for cos pi by 2 minus x is sine x since both are positive this remains positive do you get the idea now let's look into co-function identity for tan pi by 2 plus x tan pi by 2 plus x means you are actually in this quadrant. In this quadrant, tan is 
negative, right? You can apply the cost rule. Tan is negative, so we get a negative answer. And always, whenever you're looking at a triangle, from pi by 2 plus or minus x, it changes to its counterpart, which is cotangent in this case of x. You get the idea. To give you another review on this, it is kind of like this. Let's say we have a triangle here, right? We are kind of reviewing at present. So it's a good time to review. So when we say x, then we are looking from this side. But as soon as I say pi by 2 minus x, we are looking from the other side. So sine changes to cos, cos to sine, tan to cotangent, because the side from where we are looking changes. Do you get the idea? Now, that is the left side we are working on. Is it okay? Now you can clearly see minus sine x plus sine x is 0, minus cotangent x is what we get. And which is equals to the right side and this is probably the best way of proving this particular identity right i took time to explain but in your test it is just one line solution i hope you understand and appreciate also follow the links on related acute angles and co-function identities to further explore the concept behind what i used here to work with solving identity i hope that helps thank you and all the best